It's a pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Royal Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Hello everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this FedEx Cup season has been a beauty for this player. Handling it nicely, don't seem to be under any real pressure. No, they've been going along quite smoothly this season. I have to say I'm very impressed. I'm looking forward to seeing them compete in the FedEx Cup playoffs. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Sitting up pretty nicely in the sand. Shouldn't have too much trouble getting out. went in six feet remaining to the cup oh what a stroke i like that kind of fight that shows resilience and that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie good job here we are at the second tee This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Let's head out to the action at the third. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that one just missed the hole. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. A wonderful shot, a chance for Purdy here at the second. Look at this. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. He's currently sitting in second. Teeing off here at the third hole. And the effort, that one. This shot is about 140 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner from just a short time ago. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. Nice looking putt. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. 
So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Opting for the six iron. This one looks like it's going right. This would be a great up and down. Ooh. That's some nasty stuff they were dealing with there. Great shot. And down it goes. Now fall back after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Wow, that was just striped. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, this one's right at the pin. Yeah, a quality shot, that. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. This one's tracking. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Our current leader is up by three shots. Here we are at the sixth hole. Opting for the five iron. Pretty good shot there. Oh, good look at a birdie here. This one started out on a good line. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, guys, I'm down on hole number seven, and Justin Thomas is just getting ready to hit. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. Wow. Ha, huh. right at it from out of the bunker. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is up by four shots now. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. That didn't look like their best swing to me. Playing now from the fairway bunker. It's gonna be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Good shot, got a fair piece of that ball. 
getting ready to play their third. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. John, do you have any info down there? I'm down here on the 11th hole as Tony Finau gets ready to hit. Ooh. Oh, Rich, a shot for the ages. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Good looking putt. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. You've arrived at a par four. Was pummeled. Great drive. Time for the second shot at the eighth. <laughs> Opting for the nine iron. This one might need to sit. And here we are with the third shot. Four shots behind our leader. Just missed. Putting for par. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Trailing by four strokes. We have a par three on this one. Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. Setting up here with a very long putt. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Eight feet to the cup. That starts off on a good line. And in it goes for the par. He's currently in the second position. We've arrived at a par four hole. Ah, looks like this one's contracted the dreaded hooks. Let's head over to the 11th. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Well, Rich, I'm being honest. This lie is putrid. No, this is like hitting it into a head of cabbage. I mean, it literally is just awful. This one's going right at the pin here. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. 
can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. Yeah, we'll take that. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. We have a power five here. Time to take advantage. Well played, mate playing from around 190 yards out. Straight down win. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Close to the surface here in the green side rough. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And that punt will give them birdie number six on the day. Now four back after that hole. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. looking shot this this one could take a little bounce to the left good shot there made birdie on the last looking for a second in a row here Great stroke. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. Gotta like it. Two in a row. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I'm over on the 16th hole. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Playing this shot from the sand. That is outstanding. And snatches a birdie as well. Oh, this one out of a smelly spots on the golf course but no bother for this player our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage so after that hole this is what the leaderboard looks like and they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie there's a good chance to maintain the momentum Bit untidy, wasn't it? Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Looks to be going with the four iron. Oh, that's incredible. It's in the hole. Out of the rough, out of position. Never mind. That is not a bother. 
knocks it in. Thank you very much. There's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. We have a par four on this one. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. I'd be booking in for some lessons if I was swinging it like that. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, considering where they ended up, the the lie could have been a lot worse. I think they might be able to, to deal with this, but not too, too much trouble. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. close was that to going in the hole great shot just a fantastic shot guaranteed birdie hitting it that close make sure you get both the line and the speed right here it's a long part looking really good this one and with that you can go and put a par on the card and after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. He's currently just in second place. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. That's heading for the fairway. And from the bunker here. Well, look, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. This one might roll into the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. Well, got some sort of streak going on here. Greens in regulation. What a statistic. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Just one off the lead after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Yeah. Going with the five iron here. Let's head to the last hole for this wonderful highlight. That absolute beauty by Billy Horschel. Watch this. This is how you do it seven days a week. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. That makes him tied for first.
It's time to begin this powerful hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Let's take a look at JT just a little while ago. This was his fourth shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? From about 130 yards here. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And this putt is from birdie three on the scorecard. Get in the hole. How good would that have been if it had dropped? Par putt coming up here. And well hold. Let's move on. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Well, it's come down to this. The final hole. Welcome to the 18. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Yes, this is like a big bowl of spinach salad. It's just gnarly in there. Going with the four iron here. And here we are with the third shot. One stroke off the lead. This putt to move into a type of first. Oh, so close. It's just about three feet away. Around now in the books. Good luck next time. And at the conclusion of this round, he finishes in second. And 18 holes of sensational fun is in store for us tomorrow, Luke. Just watch out. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Royal Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elby and Rich Beam here bringing you all the action of the final round. And Rich, I love these days. Championships are decided. Has this player got it in them to pull out the win? Second place, that's no fun. It's so close and yet so far, let's face it, second place stinks. This player needs to go out and produce something to chase down that leader and overtake him in this final round. Let's get down to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Time for the second shot into the first. That dog will hunt. 14 footer. Uh, 
This one's online. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. This hole here is a par four. Luke, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. John, give us a small update. Down on the third hole as Justin Thomas gets ready to hit. Getting ready to play their third. Second shot on the second. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful booty look here at the second. Nice stroke. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Some lovely momentum for this player, moving up the leaderboard. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. That should find the fairway. Second shot here on the third. Going with the nine iron, I think. That's well played, pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Get excited. This could go in. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Uh, I'm not sure that's what they had in their mind. That's further right than they wanted. They're not a bad shot, that one. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh, I like the look of this. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. He's currently in a share of top spot. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. Okay, let's get those two important things back. Timing and tempo. Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. It's gonna be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Not bad. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? About 27 feet from here. It was on a good line. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. 
good putt that. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. to be going with the six iron. That one's headed right and staying right. This would be a great up and down from this spot. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Let's see if you can make this. And keep the par on the card. This one's looking good. Nicely hold, and for par. He's currently sitting in second. Welcome to this par five hole. Beautiful swing there. Second shot here on the seventh. Going with the hybrid. And here we are with the third shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. Nice recovery there. Judging it beautifully. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Second shot here on the eighth. That's some good golf right there. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole this tournament. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Got to like it. Two in a row. And that makes him tied for first. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Looks to be going with the five iron. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. And coming up well short. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Ooh, nice line. And there it is. Here we go, Rich, the back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? I tell you, Luke, final nine, find themselves one back. Do you like the position or don't you? I personally do. Go chase down that leader. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Yes, difficult lie made a par here yesterday, a little bit more difficult today. Fingers crossed for good kick to the left. Getting ready to play their third. Only one shot off the pace. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. Why not take another look at that effort?
Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. This shot from the first cut of rough. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Lining up the birdie putt here. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Playing from around 110 yards out. One stroke off the lead. Wow, what a shot. Absolutely, in there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. This one's for Birdie. If it's up, it could be in. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Coming off a string of three birdies. Choosing the nine iron here. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Outside chance here for the birdie. Yeah, a bit long on that one. And this one is for his par. A good stroke. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Just one off the lead after that hole. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Setting up in the first cut. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult but still doable. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. This putt coming up is for birdie. Ooh. Opportunity to make their par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. He's currently in a share of top spot. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. 
the iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. It's on a great line. Oh, well home for Eagle. With just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. Leading by a couple after that hole. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. And coming off the Eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. never really a comfortable shot for them was it lots of greens and regulation today for this player but not so on this occasion and rich this player has been hovering in and around top spot the entire day do you think they've got what it takes it's been back and forth all tournament long hasn't it luke i gotta say i like this player's toughness they're really hanging tight it's going to be close to see if they can pull out the victory job done let's head to the next and still in top spot after that hole Keep it going. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Look like he's hooked this one. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down on hole number 18 as Justin Thomas gets ready to hit. And this for the par. That was a gallant attempt. Second shot here on the 17th. That's on the green, and you never know what could happen. Now this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, a nine-foot chance here. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well hold. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. This one heading into the sand. Second shot here at the 18th. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Woo, back there, horsey. Oh, what a shot by our leader. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. That's the right pace. This should drop. And that's going to do it. Holds the putt for victory. Well played. Give that player a high five. Unbelievable what kind of form they're in right now. It is absolutely amazing to watch. This is pure dominance. Pure dominance. Well, this certainly shows the characteristics of this player. A real dogfight, and they got it done, Rich. It took, it just took sheer guts, didn't it? They had to fight tooth and nail all week long, fighting their swing, but figuring it out how to get the win, willing their way to victory. Unbelievable stuff. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.